Yo, what's up with you guys? It's your boy, Yon Hunter Jr. And today we're gonna be doing a session breakdown of my latest single, New Way, featuring my cousin, DJ Thick. You guys can check that out. Link in the description for that. Let's get into the session breakdown. All right, guys. So the main thing that's driving this single is the sample. And this is actually from my own sample pack, Instant Vibes, and I just flipped it. So here's what I flipped it to, the end result. So here's the original sample. So what's dope about Logic is you can take this audio file and drag it to an empty region in the track area. And we'll do this to a quick sampler. We could say original. Cool. Then we get a new sampler instrument that just came up. So I changed this to mono. So that way I can trigger the sample uh, in multiple keys because it's just stretched all across the keyboard. So all I did was, was I found a key that I like. So it was this. Then I just went over to the C sharp. And I think this key is actually in D major. So it's completely altered. So that's like a really fun thing to do with the uh, Logic sampler. So then from that point on, I was like, I know I'm going to want some 808s in there. And that's kind of low. So let me take the sample up an octave. So that's how I ended up with this. So I pretty much built the beat around that. We can get into the drums. I use the Cloudy Trap Kit uh, from Splice. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to check that out. And it's pretty much these right here. So that's pretty much driving majority of the drums. So from there, I pretty much added some other drums that are not a part of that kit. And that's kind of like what gives you your unique sound is, yeah, you use a kit, but you kind of alter them or you add some other stuff in there. So like that hi-hat is from the Foreign Tech kit. This little transition is the MDL120 transition effect. That's in Splice. And that's like a really dope effect um, for going into uh, this next section. On vacation. And then this is also from Splice, this OSTD cold symbol. Um, this is really dope. Found a rose. This right here. That's really dope. So let's go into the 808. That's another uh, situation. So. This is the KBH 808. Uh, I got this from Splice as well. This is like almost a Splice record. Hey. Hey. Like, I really like that 808 a lot. It And I don't play the 808 like a normal 808. Like, I play it more like an actual bass player. Like, a, I'm, a, I'm a keys player, so I'm very musical in my tracks. Got some pads. Rose, name it Rose. So these pads are definitely got from Omnisphere. These are really dope and um, just created that atmosphere change in this section of the song. Rose, name it Ruby. Wanna kick it like I'm Bruce Lee. Please don't use me or don't touch me. I don't get my trust out loosely. Excuse me. This Wonder Girl vocal situation, this is like through the whole song and I didn't mind that at, at all. It's like this little vocal shout. That's really popular. I heard that on like some uh, mainstream, a lot of mainstream records. So that's in Splice as well. The Wonder Girl vocal 101, definitely a fire sample that bring hype to your track, you know, even before a, a vocalist or a rapper gets on it. So it's been like a theme for me, like I'm, so I'm in album mode right now. And so like, it's been a theme for me to just start the track, like not have like an official intro, man, I just want to get straight to the point. Just as soon as I hit play, you already have the vibe. That's you know, it just like it's a call to attention, I guess you can say. It's nothing new. I didn't invent this, but I would say, you know, try out the strategy in your track. You know, and then it leads into giving you the satisfying verse one. Yeah. These raps ain't a hobby, touchdown in the lobby. My guy got me free, yeah, I'm like Cosby. Feeling so saucy, the drink got me shot. 
So one thing I love about how my cousin approached this track is the triplets. Like he he's literally adding more energy um, to the beat. So if I just play the beat as is. You know, it's riding and it's sitting. But when you add these triplets on here, it really it's just so satisfying to hear. Yeah. These raps ain't a hobby, touchdown in the lobby. My guy got me free and thinner like Cosby. Feeling so saucy, the drink got me schnapp. And like his flow is so wavy, it, it just resonated with me. Like this is gonna be the name of the song, New Wave. This was like unplanned, and some of the best tracks are like the tracks that you do for fun that are like not planned. So my cousin pretty much sent me some stems, and I think he had his own delay that he did. Yeah, this is his delay. Touchdown in the lobby, Finner like Cosby, Drake got me schnappy. So I was like, okay, cool. Like I, I'm definitely going to incorporate that in there um, into what you did. And I sort of embellished his delay with my delay. Wish they could stop me, but I'm on a... <laughs> like right there, that way. So I just automated that in there just to you know, overemphasize that I'm on a new wave because it's the name of the song. Touch me, they wish they could stop me, but I'm on a new wave. I don't even sing why. Yeah, you could get that effect by using H delay. I think I left it at 120 um, and let it do like a triplet thing. I'm on a new wave. When he tracked his vocals, I don't know if he tracked it to the BPM that I had the session at, but when he did it, I was like, actually, I kind of like that. I'm used to like things being more linear. Way, 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 way. But I just like this whole triplet thing that's just like counteracting this track. You just automate that in there. You can create a, a blank track, put H delay on that track, and then basically take that region grab your marquee tool then you could just take that uh new wave me, but I'm on a new wave. you could just take that wave line right here marquee tool it and then uh click it option drag down and you know put it on a de delay effects track and get that same effect and you should have that and I think I did a ping pong too, so. No way. I don't even. Then color it up, you know, do a little low pass, a little high pass, and there you have no it. No way. I don't even. And there you have it. So it's just really a dope um, effect. It's kind of a mixing thing, but you can make that a part of your production as well. I mean, just have certain words that you want to emphasize that you, you know want to have that effect on you can do that in the production phase so i'm gonna get i'm gonna nerd out a little bit for you guys so let's talk let's go back to the 808s a little bit when the drums drop out right here no way. that note right there is creating a new chord it is now an official d major seven um let's pull up like a little Rhodes or something i'll show you what i mean so I go into the D like that. So. No way. If you change that F sharp to a D, you now have an official D major seven with some tensions in there. Four players will reharm the chord based on the bass note that's been the same. You can reverse engineer that by switching up a bass note on a you know monotonous chord pattern so that's what i decided to do so that's just a little fun fact i love chords so i love moments like where you just have like these layers and layers of pads just on top of each other all working in harmony and then if you add your bass to that Again, that's a big moment for D major seven uh, and add that nine. 
you know, that's what I hear in my head. Check out his cadence over this. Rose, name it Ruby. Wanna kick it like I'm Bruce Lee. Please don't use me or don't touch me. I don't get my trust out loosely. Excuse me. Bless, bless. Can't even laugh. You know, it just makes it so satisfying. Like, just having that moment, breaking up the cadence and everything like that and leaving space. Uh, there's not a lot of tracks going on with this. It's just 21 tracks. So it, it doesn't take a whole lot to make something magical happen so i hope you guys got some value out of this you can cop my instant vibes and stream my single major shout out to my cousin dj thick he definitely blazed this track uh, you can follow him and all that good stuff i left his information in the description i hope you guys got some value out of this if you did smash that like button for your boy subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else like this on the channel that's it for me peace